This Actros 2543 Euro 5 drive this truck. Uh, it doesn't have a clutch. It has only a brake pedal and an accelerator. Uh, if I told you want to adjust the left hand mirror, you just press this one, then you adjust like that. Right hand mirror, you press, then you adjust. Then this one is for your windows. Left hand window, you pull it like that, it goes up. You pull like this one with the right hand window, it goes up or down if you push like this. This one is to lock the doors. This is the lock of the machine. Then this one, this truck doesn't have the, what we call a dipstick. So we normally use this one to adjust. We know the distance you have covered. Uh, you just press this M, then you start scrolling using this one. Then here on this dashboard, this one is a fuel gauge. This one is speedometer. It will show you maybe pressure gauge, uh, the distance you have covered, and any fault that will appear on this truck, you will see it here. Uh, the RPM of this truck, if it goes to 10, 11, 12, there, you change your gear. Will be. This is what we call the hard blue. Hard blue, most of the time in Africa, most of our trucks doesn't, we don't use hard blue. Then this one is a horn. For this one, you can connect your phone and use this one to cut, this one is to receive. It is Gary. plus. If you want to add the speed, you use this one. Unatumia hii limb. Limb, ukienga gari kwa hensha hapa kwa dashboard, unatumia limb. Then, it means, hii gari umeset na way that ineza kimbia na hile speed yu unataka. Kama ni 50 ama 70, itaenda hivo hivo. But now, ukifika mahali kama kwa pumps, uweke mugu kwa break, inaji cancel, tena unanza fresh. So, here we don't use that one because hapa kuna mapumps mengi, kuna mashimo, so you don't need to use that one. But huko Europa, huko kwao, they use that one because you can set the vehicle na itembe, your worker is only to control the steering. Only. Then, if you want to cancel, it's off. You press here. If you press off, na inaji cancel. So for instance, you want to adjust your steering wheel like this. There's a, a, a button somewhere down. This yellow one. Just press it. Then you see I've pressed it. You can adjust your steering wheel according to your comfort zone. So that's how it is. On the left hand side of my steering wheel, like this, we have this knob. This knob has several functions. For is for wiping. So whenever it gets like this, that's when there's a lot of rain. This one I've added my speed. That one, the speed increases. Then that's how it functions. Then this one, if I want to use water, clean my windscreen, I just press it like this. Then the wipers will whenever you want to treat someone or pass. You we normally do this, you up it like that. If I do like this, I'm um, indicating right. I push it downward, it means the left signal. So this one is for stability purpose. In case your truck is sliding, just press it like this. Then this one is off. This one is for horn bigger or louder horn diff balancing this one is for terrier this is hazard this is diff lock this is for stability in case you are sliding somewhere these ones are used in ice ice places but in east africa we don't have uh, the use of this this one is start so this truck has two keys to use this one to open your doors then this one is like a password of this truck just insert it like this here like this so right now since i've inserted it whenever you want to start your engine you just press here 
just press like this then whenever you want to stop your engine you also press here like that that's how it if you don't insert here this key there's no way this is start or stop will function don't misplace this key because it's very very important it's like the password of this track for example if you put your engine off what you do just take this one and keep it somewhere inside this track you can only go out with the, this one for the sake of whenever you come back to open your door this is the ac of this track as you can see now it's at 20 uh, degrees celsius so you can just set the way you want i know all drivers know how to set this ac uh, changing of gears always depends with the rpm for example if you are up shifting your gears ensure that your rpm is between 10 to around 15 there is when you can add another gear if at all you want to downshift ensure that your rpm is below 10. this is the gear lever of the track below the steering wheel on the right hand side this d is for drive and neutral then r reverse on top of this one we have this one this one you can press it whenever you press it it goes to auto or manual press it you'll see manual there you pr I, whenever i press it again it shows you auto so you can drive this truck in either manual or auto right now it's in any in, in, in neutral whenever you want to engage drive just push this knob to d drive it will show you on my dashboard but since the air pressure is not enough to not show me then we have this one r you will hear an alarm whenever you engage d like this you will start adding gears up like this for example it has been in gear number two that's gear number three like that like that that's how it is whenever you want to downshift gear i just press it down downward like this it goes to gear number one whenever you want to um, increase the gear while i'm driving this gear number two gear number three gear number four gear number five gear number six but since this truck is just standing just is not moving it cannot go to gear number up to the gear number 12 when it's standing like this it will just indicate up to six gears but when you are driving is when it will go up to uh, 12 gears uh, downhill and you want to downshift your gears what you are supposed to do is just you uh, press your brake uh, engage engine brake then ensure that the rpm the rpm is uh, below 10 is when you will uh, downshift like this uh -huh. like this that is how to downshift this truck you want to put on your lights like this this one is parking then this one is in full light you can see right now it's dim but whenever you want to change it to full light on the left hand side this knob you just push it downward like that you see this blue sign so it means you are in full lighting mode then whenever you want to go back to dim just up like this that's how it works for example if you are in a fog, foggy environment you want to engage fog lights so what you do just press it like that important things to consider while driving this truck always lock your doors while you are driving 